What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 here in this video here today. And this is something I didn't really think I'd get a chance to talk about this soon. Although it was something that I know I initially put out a tweet about shortly after the news came out about Melissa Barrera. I just had the conversation with a landing source who also again has been helping me get information on Maxine. And what has happened is that Christopher Landon has formally announced that he is no longer attached to direct Scream 7. Now, at the time, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know that I put out that he indeed wanted out of the project. And it looks like he ultimately got what he wanted. I didn't know that he actually made it out. I just know that he wanted out. So he put out this tweet today, say, I guess now is as good a time as any to announce I formally exited Scream 7 weeks ago. This will disappoint some and delight others. It was a dream job that turned into a nightmare and my heart did break for everyone involved. Everyone, but it's time to move on. I have nothing, nothing more to add to the conversation other than I hope Wes's legacy thrives and lifts above the den of a divided world. What he and Kevin created is something amazing and I was honored to have even the briefest moment basking in their glow. Now, obviously, this has triggered a lot of reactions. Some people celebrating. Some people are upset. I will tell you, just as I've been saying with a lot of the other stuff that's come out, I'm going to try to remain as indifferent to this as I can because of the fact that it all comes back to who? Spyglass. Spyglass needs to sell the rights. That is what I think needs to happen. That's what many people think needs to happen. And ultimately, had Spyglass not have fired Melissa Barrera and done what they had done in regards to basically not allowing her to just freely express what she wanted to express and just go on about their day put all of that aside come together do business make a movie get it out had they had just done that we wouldn't be at this point right now I do recall after Melissa Barrera was fired though I saw a lot of nasty comments under Chris's images of his children on instagram i saw a lot of nasty tweets at him on twitter you know all this stuff that comes with toxic fandom not everybody in every fandom is toxic but we definitely know that there are toxic people who go out of their way to make someone's life a living hell as much as they can online because that's all that they are good for so they live up to their potential in that capacity by trying to go after someone like the way i saw chris landon taking a lot of the backlash for this oh he's not standing in solidarity with melissa he's standing in solidarity with spyglass you know it's it's just it's one thing to have your frustrations at the melissa situation but it's another to then start attacking others who have nothing to do with the decision of her being employed or not christopher landon wasn't the person to go after but you know there's a lot of ignorance out there when it comes to how hollywood works i'm ignorant on a lot of stuff still when it comes to hollywood but a lot of people they don't even try to inform themselves they just literally take anger and frustration bottle it up and then throw it at the nearest thing and in this case it was oh let's go after the director get our pitchforks and go right after the director bunch of fucking idiots <laughs> anyway I think the general consistency again is still Spyglass. You guys have struck out three times here. Not that Jenna Ortega was the worst out of the bunch. Obviously, the worst out of these three is still Melissa Barrera and the handling of that. But then Jenna herself was reportedly not going to come back due to a scheduling conflict. But I still would argue, I think that ultimately what made it easier for her to say, hey, I don't even want to do your little cameo is what happened with Melissa Barrera. That's just me. And then now we have lost Landon, someone who, again, I told you he didn't want to be involved in it anymore. I didn't realize he was actually actively trying to get out of it the way he did. And I didn't realize that he had gotten out of it weeks ago, but it does line up with some of the stuff you see on his Twitter. He's been engaging with people who have been antagonizing him. He's been engaging with them, not not overly aggressively or anything like that and not consistently. But there was one instance where someone did tag him in a post and he combated them. So that was like a first flag to me that this dude probably isn't even attached anymore. Because why is he coming at them like that? Now it makes sense. He's not attached to Scream 7. So you better be careful how you approach him or he might get a little... He might he might check you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> As he should if you're coming at him sideways. But what do you guys think about this revelation? This bombshell that he announced on his Twitter today. He is no longer going to be directing Scream 7. I don't know where we go from here other than Spyglass. What are you going to do? Are you going to cancel the project and accept defeat? Are you going to sell the rights? Are you going to just wallow in all of your unfortunate decision making 
gather up whoever you can put the movie out and if it ends up being trash i mean i i, I just don't know where we go from here this this company <laughs> they they are at strike three you're at strike three everything involving what has transpired recently with scream 7 over the past month since thanksgiving time this has just been a train wreck and i can only point the finger at you guys you guys have to go gary barber and all the other alleged band of idiots you gotta go it's time to go and i here's the thing it reality also still tells me they aren't gonna sell the rights in reality i don't see them selling the rights what else is spyglass cooking up thanksgiving isn't as profitable as the scream ip people would definitely turn out more for your next screen film than your next thanksgiving movie so that's why i see i don't see them selling these rights we'll just have to be patient about this because now you're out two actors you're out a director for all i know james vanderbilt was the only person attached you might be out guy Busick in that hollywood reporter report that came out it only mentioned james vanderbilt it didn't mention guy Busick, so maybe they're down a right or two we'll just have to wait and see but this is all just becoming a very convoluted mess that stems from the reaction to what you decided to do in response to melissa barrera who was just expressing her freedom of speech which again there is nothing wrong in the context of what she was talking about. I can appreciate if some people think that what she was talking about was wrong. You didn't agree with it. That's fine. It shouldn't have escalated into what it escalated into. Now, causing all of this divide and rift surrounding Scream 7. It was unnecessary and it could have been avoided. Gr to be quite frank, why did we need to even know about this? You could have just simply said she's exited the project. You could have simply said that. But no, they... It, it, let's not even get into it, it it's just a, a complete mess i hope that they sell the rights and that they get far away from this ip and that we can get a competent production company involved who is passionate about the ip passionate about cranking out a quality film that lives up to the legacy of west craven getting the appropriate talent attached appropriate creatives all of that good jazz and cook up something that is worthy of being the seventh entry in the screen franchise now, again, the reality tells me they're going to find somebody. I don't see any director right now that I can think of that I'd be excited about attached to this unless it's some bombshell horror filmmaker that's been killing it lately that signs on. But who are they even going to get to sign on to this project? That's the other thing. Is anyone going to want to do business with Spyglass as a director? Whoever it is, all the best of luck to you. Uh, I hope you are able to crank out a quality Scream 7 film, whoever that may be. But time will tell. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you like me to that you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.